Waldo's first road trip in a long time. Five years. It's okay. It's okay. I know, just driving, but hey, we could get you in here easier than my truck. So we're taking Waldo to the vet to get his leg checked out, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. It's okay, but yeah, he's not liking it. He sure liked it coming out of the dog department. Here, are you okay? It's okay. I know, you're going to lead a sheltered life, but you know, there's another world out here, boy. <coughs> Ain't there, Jeff? <coughs> it's cold. Yeah, he's just shaking. But I promise you'll live. I promise you're going to be okay. You might and then, feel better when you get Just home. think of the lies you're going to be able to tell Lily. Yeah, that you went to Disney World. All kinds of stories. Yeah. Here, whoa, look. I bet you we see some cows. He's just scared. You got to be a big boy, okay? Be a big boy. Look at him in my lap. You're just shaking. It's okay. All right. He's calming down a little bit. No, you can't go up there with Jeff. He's not, he's not used to puppies. Oh, did that tickle your belly? That's why it's called Tickle Belly Hill. Yeah. We're almost there, boy. And then the next chapter begins. He does that growling thing like he did with you. When he don't like something, he does the growling. But he's never bit nobody. He's just trying to be a grumpy grump. You can go see Dr. Brandy. He'll be nice to you. Alright, we're about three, four miles away. About three. This is his fifth road trip ever. Yeah, but you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> you think if you hide them? Did you just wipe your eye boogers on me? You did. Yeah, you did. You're a silly boy. You would think it was like the end of the world with you. Big old bad boy. You start thinking up some good lies to tell the other dogs, okay? You gonna be nice? You just gonna check out your leg. There's a big old Great Dane in there. What do you see? And we'll see how this goes. Sorry about the light, guys. You need a brushing, boy. You got fur all over me. I'm not gonna chop you up. You gonna get in the chair? That'd probably be the best place for you. You know, get off that table, boy. Get off that table. You're gonna break that stuff. Alright, we got him up on the table. She's getting a muzzle because he's getting a little frustrated. She's gonna get a needle in his leg. She don't think it's anything bad. He's using it. Are you gonna be a good boy? That's why we gotta put a muzzle on you. Because you make them grumble. I know you ain't gonna bite nobody, but we don't want you biting her. Okay? We don't want you biting her. Hey, yeah. you be a nice boy, muzzle butt. Be a nice boy. She's just going to get a sample. All right, let me get. Let me, let me get my hands. I was going to say, you just hold it under his head. Be a good boy. Then you know her. Okay. Good boy, I don't know. Well, you just think of Lily and Melbourne. Yeah, Lily and Melbourne. We're going to, we're going to, okay, mine get a little stroma in there, okay? So okay, I bet you he did have a bite or something. Hey, hey, this is gonna make it feel better, son. It'll be better. <laughs> well, you can still manage. No. Yeah, it's okay. It's almost done. You're alright. The reality is I'm going to the doctor, boy. You're okay. Yeah, it's almost done. It'll make it feel better. <laughs> Here, don't you need it. Come on, hold on, you're okay. 
Okay. Here, I'm gonna mm -hmm. wipe this up so he don't get all in it, okay? okay. Good boy. You're all done. No yeah, way. Yeah. No way. Good boy. Yeah. All fixed. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a nasty stuff. Good man. boy. Yep, we better get you on some antibiotics and stuff, bud. Sometimes not, you know, we gotta go to the doctor. That's right. I think he was more worried about the muzzle than uh, anything yeah. else going on. Yeah, you're all done. You was a good boy. You're all done. She's gonna get your your prescriptions, and then we're gonna go home. Good boy. Set. Did you set? I don't think I ever taught you to set. It's okay. You get home. You'll be all better. Maybe she drained it a little bit, and. Uh, Shaved his little skin, drained it a little bit. Now he's gonna get some antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, but he's fine. I'm getting one too. All right, we're heading out. He was a good boy. We had to muzzle him, but he does that. I think he he never gonna bite nobody, but there's no sense of taking a chance. Yeah. But uh, they're gonna shave a little fur off. He's a little scared, thirsty. But all the fluids drain. He's never lost use of it. He it doesn't even limp. So she just sure it's just nothing, nothing else. Got got a bunch of pills. So that means a lot of hot dogs. You like hot dogs, don't you? Uh, and I want to thank Jeff for being the transport, the, the Uber. It's about time. The I Waldo Uber. On. I'm hitchhiking, and you're a hitchhiker. Yeah. There goes Jeff, the pet Uber. It's a beautiful day. Let's go see what Waldo's talking about. I think he's telling stories already. What do you think, Rooster? Your brother trying to tell you stories? Yeah, how do you feel better? Did you go to the doctor? Yeah. I say you go. Yeah, you're gonna get a big old treat. Rooster's checking it out. Did he get chopped up, Rooster? A treat. Alright, let's go get you some pepperonis. I got you the biggest one. Where's that one? There's one for Lily. Yeah. There he goes. Gotta run away from Lily like Lily's gonna try to get it. You want one, Tilly? She's upset because Millie's been gone for three days now. She'll be back. That girl's got good survival skills. I can't stop her. It's a lot of national forest back there. And guess what? I still got one left. Two. You don't get two. You didn't go to the doctor. You didn't go to the doctor. Uh, what kind of stories are you going to tell? Yeah. You had major surgery. Did you have major surgery? They put a muzzle on you. Because you grumble growled them. Tell Brewster. She's waiting to hear your story. Look at it. He wants to hear your story, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's full of it. I can find you. You got the zoomies? Get her. You happy brother's back, huh? Well, it's a major event when one of them leaves the property. Lily's happy. Ow, ow. 
loves it, you. You goofy as they make them. No. Yeah, you did go to the doctor. You were a good boy. You got my whole hoodie covered in fur. I should have brushed you first. Yeah. Look at this one. Oh, I'm going to get you, rooster. All right, I moved the laser in here because, well, I got power. But... These things emit a lot of smoke when you're using them, and this is the perfect place for that. I got the fan until I can get uh, the shed finished, and I think what I'm going to do is where the vents are, I'm going to run, that's where I'm going to uh, vent uh, these, the laser engraver. I'll run a uh, hose up to there, I'll figure it out, but yeah, these do put out some smoke, so... You can see I've been messing with it, trying to get used to it. I'm going to do the review probably by the end of this week, but this is just one of the things it did. I didn't have the settings right, and it didn't cut all the way through. And then there's my dogman label, or uh, icon, whatever you call it, logo. And it's not very clear right there because I just imported the image and I printed it and then this little test thing but uh, when you see the review i'll have that stuff dialed in all right guys just a short one today but i had waldo don't get to leave all the time yeah he's in there yeah so i had to show him going to the vet happy trails yeah so now every time i open the door guess what he wants to barge out here because this is how I took him out to go to the vet. And then Lily shoot, uh, followed after him. Uh, and I had the door open. <laughs> Thank God I got ahead of him and locked it. But yeah, I don't want him out here. Maybe eventually they'll be able to... I'll work him into coming out here. But I want to get a regular door on there and get a little more secure. Because they're not... Uh, these two don't do well outside. Because, well, I don't know that they would. They're too chubby. They wouldn't go far. 